offer is two. The screen time. The dire skibbity toilet thing. Why won't somebody please think of the children? So our kids are Gen Alpha, right? But not like, they're not teenagers, they're small children. So it's not really the same. It's like a 28 year old Gen Z saying they have something in common with an 18 year old. You just don't, you grew up with avocados and Harry Potter too, okay? But when I searched up Gen Alpha, because my kids are Gen Alpha, everything is just they're doomed! The problem with Gen Alpha! Gen Alpha are out of control! And I just feel like if you tell a generation of kids enough times that they're doomed, they're probably gonna believe it. But I don't believe it. I just think this is the first time in history that teachers, parents are sharing everything online about the next generation rather than just saying, oh my god, these kids are out of control in the staff room in the 90s, like they would have been saying about me. I'm sorry. And the reason I'm passionate about this is because I want the next generation of kids to feel like they're not doomed. I've been a teacher. I've been a teaching assistant. I've led classrooms of kids not listening to me and not caring. But I just thought, that was me 20 years ago. I was a bit of a naughty kid. And some of my classrooms were really naughty. But the teachers would have gone and told their friends or the other staff members in the staff room, not potentially shared it to millions of people online. Look, I'd be lying if I said that I wasn't completely comfortable with some of the stuff on YouTube that is mainly watched by children, not aimed for children, but the skibbity toilet thing, I will be reacting to it, I will be watching it later. I've never seen it, just the head in the toilet thing, whatever it is. Um, kids are watching that, and that isn't great, okay? But us, I'm not trying to poo-poo on any parents here, but me as a parent, I have, I have a responsibility to know exactly what my children are watching. Like the iPad generation that people keep saying. My kids don't have an iPad. All screen time is together. It's a together activity. Just like reading books, eating dinner. Everything is together. There's videos online of babies watching Skibbity Toilet on their own. That's not okay. But that is not the, that's not the main. That's not the norm. That's not the, the rule. That's not every kid. And that's the problem with right now. I'm not trying to be like a moaning myrtle right now. Millennial reference. But when we were growing up, there were things that parents shouldn't be letting their kids watch. But it was actually easier for us to watch it because it was like a primetime TV, like, you know, Simpsons, Bart Simpson getting choked out. That's not okay for kids to be watching to think it's normal, but it was funny. Like the itchy and scratchy stuff. That's not actually okay, but we grew up with it and we loved it. This is moving into a slightly ranty vlog about parenting right now, which I don't want it to be because I will put the TV on, you know, that's something that is just entertaining for my kid, that isn't educational because I need them to chill while I make dinner or get on with something. Or I need to change my baby and my toddler is running around like a crazy kid and I need just a, like five minutes of, you know, calm time. And I didn't choose an educational thing for them to watch or a song about where they're gonna learn something. I'm not ever gonna, you know, judge a parent for doing that. I do it. But what I'm really sick of seeing is like the, the iPad generation, the, the iPad generation of kids are doomed. I'm over it. They're not. They're going to save the world. They're going to be absolutely fine. They're going to grow up like kids growing up with AI. What is the worst thing possible? Or it's the best thing possible. You know, they're, they're never going to write an exam. Okay, they might never write an exam, but they might do it, like be really practical and really creative and not have to just sit at a desk and get hand cramp. And they might do something amazing for the world. Have we ever thought about that? Or does that not like, you know, does that not make a good video or good, a good scroll? I don't know. This has turned into a bit of a rant. I think we should watch the Skibbity Toilet thing now. Right, so it's finally time to watch Skibbity Toilet, whatever this is. This is apparently why, this is the, def the definitive reason why Gen Alpha is doomed. Let's give it a go. Let's see if it compares to anything I've seen. Okay, it's weird. It's very weird. There's a comment here that says, wait, this is what these toddlers have been watching. Really? Kids are watching this. Is it supposed to be so random that it's funny? Is that the bit? Is that what's happening? How many views has this got? 288 million. Yeah, I mean, it's bizarre. Well, I can assure you, my child is never going to watch that. Why? Because that's bad for their brain. 
I just did five minutes of research into who makes it, why does it exist, and it's an animator making art. At the end of the day, that's what it is. Subjective, if it's crazy, if you don't like it, if it's funny, that's up to the consumer, which shouldn't be children, by the way. Not on the YouTube Kids app, shouldn't be consumed by anyone younger than a teenager. I feel like a teenager that has like gaming experience, like can sort of like see it for what it is, which is like a over the top crazy animation. But I think if you're younger than that, you shouldn't be consuming those images. It's scary. So what am I trying to say with this video? Why am I making this? Basically, I think it's up to us parents to be really, really responsible with what our kids consume because they have, they can potentially have access to things that are really not good for their brain at a really, really young age. And also we need to be really careful about when we see a video of an irresponsible parent letting a baby or a two-year-old watch something like Skibbity Toilet or there's loads of other things. This is just the one for this video of loads of other things that they shouldn't be watching. And all the, co and, and the thing says like, all kids are doomed because they're all watching Skibbity Toilet. They're not all watching Skibbity Toilet. Most parents are like us. They don't let their kids watch things like this. We need to be really careful. Gen Alpha are not doomed if we can help it.